Hey everyone, it's Megan with The Crafty Planner Lover here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be planning for September 25th through October 1st in my Catch All Happy Planner and we're going to be using a few different sticker sheets from Growing Modestly. Now this video is actually part of a collab group uh, created by Lisa Marie. She is actually here on YouTube if you guys are not already following her, which I'm sure most of you are. And she created this collab group so that a lot of us could see all the different kinds of planning styles that everyone has while also sharing uh, interest in other planner people. If you came from Gail's channel, hello, welcome. Thank you for continuing the collab loop. And if you are new, hello, welcome. To, I'm very excited that this is the first video that you chose to watch. And I hope you will continue to see all the other amazing people in the group. Like I said, we all have different kinds of planning. All of us have a different take on the theme, which this theme is fall. And I am so excited to see everybody else's amazing ideas for this theme. And I am so excited to be part of this collab. One more thing before we get into the planning. Um, these items here that I am using are actually all from my recent haul in Growing Modestly. I am an affiliate for Growing Modestly, so if you use my code MEGAN20, you will save 20% off of your order. And by using that link, you will also help me out a little bit. It is at no extra cost to you, but it, like I said, it doesn't help me out and it helps me share this content with you. And the main thing that we're going to be using from Growing Modestly is actually from her previous fall release. It's not from the 2023 release. This is the Nuts About Fall Deco Kit. And so I have the washi, the um, functional sheet, and the deco. And so I thought that this would be a perfect introduction to fall, not only in my planner, but in general. And then I thought that the Autumn Tone Gingham Circles, which is from her current release, her 2023 release, that these colors worked really well, especially the yellow and green. I thought those colors would be nice to add a little bit of color. And then of course I have to add quotes because why not? And this is also part of her 2023 release. So now that we have gotten into all of the things that we're using, I'm going to go ahead and jump in. So if you are new here and you've seen any of my Plan With Me videos before, then you know I usually start by doing date covers and washi and things like that. And I don't know if I want to do that yet because I really like the washi that comes in the kit. And I also pulled some washi that I got from my mom as well because I thought that the acorns and leaves would go pretty well with the theme. I just don't know if I want to use it or not. This is the struggle I always have with these lines here on this spread um, because I don't particularly like using them in my happy planner because it doesn't go right with the colors. So maybe what I'll do instead of wasting all my white out is I will cover it up with a piece of paper first. Okay, now I think I'm going to go ahead and lay down a little bit of the washi and I kind of want to go with this. And I'm so sorry, Emily, I am going to cut this in half. And I always feel bad <laughs> about cutting stickers in half because I don't like, I don't know, I don't want to mess up their beautiful stickers. But at the same time, at the same time, I want to, you know, make it my own kind of spread. So we are going to start at the bottom we're going to start here. Obviously, I did not cut this straight, but that is because I can't cut straight anyway. I'm just not a good cutter of things. <laughs> so we've got that side, and then I think I'm going to do the same thing at the top up here on... I think I want to cover up the days, but I don't know if I do. So maybe we will wait. And if I want to cover up the days, I can add a strip of washi across the top. That's what we'll do. 
So like I said, this is my very first um, time doing a collab and I am super excited to have been asked um, by Lisa Marie to join in in this collab because I don't know, I always find them so fun because you get to see a lot of people's styles of planning in a different way. So our theme is fall. So you get to see how everyone interprets fall in a different way. So I decided to go literal with, with the word rather than, you know, just like cozy or fun. I really want this spread to explode with fall and fun and colors. So that's my, my goal here is to just create fall in this. Okay, I do like to add my work schedule, and she does have a script that says work schedule on here, and I think I was going to use this long box, but I think I'm going to save that, and I'm going to use, I think I want to use this green one. Okay, so we'll put box here and I really do want to use some of this washi but I don't want to I don't know if I want to the struggle <laughs> of figuring out what I want to do because I feel like these colors go really well together let's see there's not too much of this left anyway oh yeah okay you know what we are going to use a little bit of this just for accent and fun purposes, I think that would be a good idea. Where is my cutter? There it is. Alrighty, and then we will take work schedule and put it right there. Oh, that is fun. I like it. So let's think about my plans. I've got to clean up this mess. I've got a huge mess everywhere. So thinking about plans for this week, I'm going to be off on the actual weekend, which is crazy. I'm never off like the full weekend, usually just Friday, Saturday. Um, but I'm also going to have Bruce, who is my sister's dog, as my responsibility this weekend. So I think I'm actually going to use this long orange box. So I'm going to have a lot to do on Friday because Friday is my first off day and I want to get a ton done then so I can plan and relax Saturday and Sunday. I might do some meal prepping and fun stuff. So that's good there. And then we want to have maybe a to-do when I figure out because I want this box to go over here so maybe we will use this blue right there got my tweezers I'm kind of thinking I will add one of these deco pieces on here I think I'm gonna go with these mushrooms those look like a good choice. There we go. I do want a scene at the bottom and I'm thinking of having this truck drive across. And then maybe Having this pumpkin patch floral piece right here. This does not go with what I usually do when I plan. I usually don't add the deco first, but I thought it might be a good idea to do that one. Okay, and then with this one, I wanted to put it over here. I don't know why I laid it down like that, but it's kind of too late to do it now. 
So we are going to put this week and we are going to use the yellow box. Uh, I think I want it over here. No, I want it here. Okay. Um, let's go with this longer box over here. Ooh, maybe up here. We're going to put it up here on Sunday. Well, that's crooked. Oh, well, I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to leave it there. It'll be fine. And then maybe the blue box right here. I'm trying to fill up all of the empty space first before I add in all of the plans. So I think I'm going to put, looking ahead here, and we do have payday on Tuesday. I'm going to put that sticker down here. And maybe... Oh, I was going to say an orange flower, but maybe not. Maybe we'll use the yellow one. All right, so maybe now what I need to do is figure out how the rest of the spread is going to work. And this is the part in my spreads where I usually just plan and don't talk. So if you've never seen any of my spreads before or any of my plan with me's, um, I usually start with the basis of my spread and then I will just get quiet so I just add a little voiceover or something to it so I think that's what we're going to start with now.
all right everyone that is it for this week in my catch-all planner using the nuts about fall kit and autumn quotes and autumn tones gingham circles from growing modestly i really love the way this turned out and i think it is so so cute i didn't show this in the video but i did add the date covers up here and those are uh washi tape date perforated date covers from shine sticker studio so i am so so pumped and so excited to be a part of this collab and to just share with you guys some really awesome people and I found a real, lot of really awesome new people to follow through this collab so I hope that is the same with you guys. I hope you found some really really great people to start watching and supporting because I am very excited about this. The next video in this loop is from my friend Megan. She is known as Megan on Instagram and YouTube. I will leave all of the information for her in the description box so you guys can check her out and you can watch the next video. It will be linked on the screen and in the description box so you guys can continue the loop. If you made it back to my video then congratulations you have finished the loop and I hope it has inspired you and shown you a ton of new people to support and to continuously be inspired by. Like I just said, I have found a lot of really awesome people through the loop that they did last month, so I am very, very excited and very honored to be in this loop this month. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out the description box. I have tons of playlists related to different types of planning and planner layouts. So I also do my social media layout, which I'm actually not doing that anymore. I'm going to be changing into a new planner, so you guys will see that um, in... I think a couple of days from now, you will see my new planner, um, but I do have lots of different content related to the dashboard layout, which was my previous planner. And then also I have the budget planner and my catch-all, lots of different planner layouts for you guys to browse and see what is interested to you. And I also have a ton of different crafting content as well, so you can check that out if you're interested. Also, don't forget to check out my link tree. It is also in the description and it has all of the different small shops that I PR for or am an affiliate for, including Growing Modestly. So once again, you can use my code MEGAN20. It will save you 20% off of your order. And I would really appreciate it if you would use my code because it is at no cost to you, but it is an affiliate code just so you guys are aware. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I truly hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you enjoyed checking out all of the different people in our little planner loop for this month. I hope that it inspired you to make your own fall spread or fall uh, tracker or whatever you want for the season. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, craft on. Bye guys!